Welcome back, everyone. My name is Dean Parsons, Certified SANS Instructor for ICS 515, Co-Author and Instructor for ICS 418. So welcome back to the ICS Security Brief. Today, we're going to be talking about preparing for ICS network visibility. So let's jump right into the content for today. So as you prepare for network security visibility in the environment, our objectives in the control system environment is to obtain the critical ICS protocol communications. That means specifically getting ICS commands from the ICS protocols in the network. That's the best situation we want to be in. Now, of course, we want to capture this data, these PCAPs and whatnot, or your five tuple via a passive collection. Of course, we're going to do this to prioritize safety and reliability of operations you will have two main options to collect traffic from a network. And in our environment, we're gonna be looking at either a span configuration off a fully managed switch in the control system or by using a tap that's installed in the network as well. You have these main options in the environment. Now we're gonna put these head to head and do a pros and cons comparison on each of them. First, looking at the architecture of a tap. In this case here, we do see that additional hardware inside the network that will copy all of the network traffic going through it to a collection device of your choosing. Beyond that, of course, using a span configuration, typically it's reconfiguration of a fully managed switch in the environment it does not require additional hardware like you see with a tap in the network. Now there are pros and cons to each and you may or may not be set up today for either of them, but we typically see more so organizations have a span capability uh, likely already in the network. So let's take a look at the pros and cons between a span configuration on a fully managed switch or a tap specific hardware for a network to get those PCAPs we're talking about. So let's look at a tap hardware first and take a look at the pros and cons here. Now the first pro here with a tap hardware device is that it will include network errors or malformed packets. Possibly malicious malformed packets will be picked up by a tap and not so much with a span configuration. Another pro with a tap is it's dedicated hardware. So a tap is essentially a dedicated piece of hardware on the environment and its whole purpose is to capture and duplicate traffic that it will see to that collection device we talked about. Another advantage here is that a tap may be more challenging to compromise than a switch configuration on a fully managed switch in the environment as well because of the nature of how it's set up in the network. Now, the cons here is that installing ATAP will require a network outage. So an engineering outage in the environment is required. That means stopping operations depending on where your TAP is going to be located in your control system environment. This can be an additional cost for that additional purpose-built hardware as well. So keep an eye on that. When we switch over to a span configuration, we notice that deploying can be as easy as just reconfiguring a fully managed switch you may already have inside your control environment. So a lot of times when I do assessments, organizations do have some capability for a span configuration already in place. It just needs to be enabled in a phased approach. Another pro here is that no ICS network outage, of course, is required, uh, unlike a TAP. When we switch over to cons for a span configuration, it may miss or drop packets that are mirrored on that span configuration port. Depends on if the switch is becoming overloaded or not. But you can phase a span configuration in over time uh, in a phased approach, such as using different VLANs to collect traffic and so on, and then taking each VLAN and adding that to your span configuration. But you have to do watch out for your utilization of memory and CPU utilization in the system to make sure no traffic is dropped from the control environment. So it may not capture network traffic communication errors like we mentioned as well that a tap can capture and typically will capture. So there you have it for today's ICS security brief. Again, looking at the options for collecting data from the environment. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and I'm hoping to see you in class soon.